All right, guys, it's uh, about 4.30. It's late August. Um, 95 degree air temperature, probably 105 heat index. Pretty hot. It's in the afternoon, like I said, late August. And I'm out here on uh, Guthrie Lake here in Oklahoma. And uh, with the sun where it's at, I'm going to get in position. I'm going to fish this bank. I've got, these, uh, got some rocks here, a little bit of vegetation. Got some outcroppings. Uh, but good shade pockets and with the water currently at about 93 degrees uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough fishing today but um, that's why I'm out here I'm trying to get better at catching fish on days like today and if I can do it these temperatures I feel like I can do it in any any kind of conditions so let's see what I can hook and let's uh, see if we can get into some fish There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I knew if I stuck with it. A little one. But you know what? First one is the most important. Because now, I'm starting to doubt myself. Really, really starting to doubt myself. And I was just about to switch from this worm. Little old dink, but hey, guess what? I'll take it. Because it's a large mouth. Hit on the worm. Which tells me 
stick to my guns. He was right where I thought he would be. Right in the shaded pocket. It is it's tough going today. It's probably, oh, I don't know, 10. Heat index is probably 107. I'm feeling it. And uh, water temperature right now is, is 93.2. So it's come up a little since I started. But right there, that rock hits the water right in the shade, right exactly where it should have been. Let's see if there's any more in there. There it is. Ah, oh, there's more in there. More in there. More in there. And another hit. Same exact spot. It's not the same pitch, so. Now it's a little spot here. Once I get the, once that worm clears out some shadow, I might as well just reel it in because you're not going to get anything. Got him. Got him. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Not a good hook set. Not a good hook set. I got him. There we go. There we go. Still small, but not bad. Hey, stop. Chill out. Hey, chill out. Dude, come on. Do you want the hook out or not? Huh? You want the hook out? I bet you do, don't you? Again, a small one. I'm sorry. I'll fall up. Just little ones. Got a storm just to the north of us, northwest of us. Trying to back build over the area, creating some shadow or creating a lot of cloud cover. And you know what this seems like to me is these fish are now ready to ready to start feeding. I was fishing too fast before. These last two. Just lift it, sit. And they're just coming right up and inhaling. Ah, oh, come on. Gotta set the hook. 
Dude, it's feeding time. It is feeding time. It is time to catch some bass. I'm so glad I stuck with this. That's one. I didn't switch. That's one. All right, guys. So that was my time out on Lake Guthrie. About three hours out on the lake, late August. Very hot outside. Hot water temperatures. Uh, just tough going. Caught one white bass on a deep diving crankbait on a point off the main uh, lake. Moved into a cove, uh, fished some boat docks, fished uh, along the bank with a straight tail eight inch zoom watermelon red worm, and found a little stretch there with some rocks and vegetation where I was actually able to get some bites. Uh, caught two little ones, lost two others, um, and that's just kind of how it goes. Um, overall, I think it was a productive day. I learned a little bit and that's, that's the point is you get out on these tough days and you learn. You learn from of days out on the water catching nothing. You learn from catching these small ones. You know, it was just uh, three days prior to this. I got some footage here. I was, headed, I was out there on that same lake, pretty close to the same area and, and caught a really nice four pounder. Um, so, you know, they're out there you just got to find them you got to find out what they like and you got to trigger them to bite with some responsive you know reaction bites at this time of year so you know we're, we're getting close to the end of august and we're going to move into september and then october temperatures are going to start coming down that water temperature is going to start coming down and um, bass are really going to start biting and you know a lot of people this time of year start putting their boats up they start getting ready for for hunting season. And um, really that's one of the best times to fish is, is when that water's coming down in the fall. Bass will really start feeding heavy, trying to get ready to uh, fatten up as much as they can for winter before they head out to their deep areas and suspend. So, um, you know, what I'm doing is I'm really working towards getting back into the game. I grew up bass fishing, fishing tournaments, and took a long time off pursuing my career you know, I don't like to fish if I don't have a boat and just recently picked up this 10 foot John boat temporarily. I'm going to upgrade soon to um, uh, a bass tracker, maybe a fiberglass boat, not sure. But um, and the goal is I'm going to I'm working towards improving myself so that I can uh, fish tournaments. So um, that's what I'm working towards. I'm going to uh, keep working towards it and hope you guys follow me along in that journey. So. Um, hey, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like that video, and always leave your comments. And uh, thanks. We'll see you next time. Take care.